first, uh, tell me your name, tell me how old you are, and tell me what grade you're going to be in. Hi, my name is Jason Brown. I'm 10 years old, and I'm going to be in the fifth grade. It's the stuff of fantasy. This is an unlikely group of kids from different areas in Kansas City. It's about kids who were at the bottom of like the reading level, maybe reading like three years behind and making that jump. It's truly about children understanding their value and understanding what they can add to the world. When the Kaufman School decided to enter these 100 kids back in fifth grade, they wanted students from the lowest performing zip codes. We were failing, we were falling behind. Our work ethic got stronger as we grew up because we learned, hey, a lot of people don't believe in us. The fact that we can prove them wrong every single time is beautiful to me. Go ahead and take out your binders because we're gonna take out our independent work. It makes me feel confident in myself and it makes me know that I don't have to give up because something because something's hard. Jacob, the same as? Great, Brianna. Similar, wonderful. Give your teammate one last high five for a very successful game of teamwork. I feel like the school was definitely learning along with us. It's a lot of trial and error we went through. Nobody knew what they were doing. Um, the staff was just building up a school from nothing. Students and families were going into the school that they had no idea what was about. It was a very new experience to all the first year teachers, first year administration, and most importantly, the students. You guys are the first class, and we're gonna try this, and if it don't work, well, we're gonna try something else. We established a certain code, like how we treat each other, how we come in, the kind of work that we get done. Everything that you did, whether it was like the handshake coming into school, or slants, even the detentions, I feel like you just laid foundations for everything. How we dressed, how we walked, mm -hmm. the utensils we could use, we were writing, how we spoke to each other. They were the ones that were making the culture that we have now. Being a founding team is really hard. Sometimes in those tough moments, you gotta lean on each other. I believe it was fifth grade and I was in trouble that day. I was in the hallway and I was throwing a fit, and I was crying. And Ms. Daniels walked over to me, and she was like, why are you crying? Get up off the floor. You gotta stick it out. It's gonna be some hard days. There's gonna be some times where you don't get it. I need you to push through it. She was basically telling me she's gonna be here until I finish, and it's something that stuck with me every day, something that kept me going. If she didn't quit, I can't quit on myself. Yeah, we don't give up. We're relentless. <laughs> I'd say one of the biggest lessons learned is kids are the expert in their lives and their learning. Of course you're gonna have those big wins and those big fails, like we have to start from somewhere. But that's just a part of, you know, building this new school up from scratch. Guadalupe, Trek Guadalupe. Fair shares. Fair shares. The best thing I learned about myself is that I know that I'm hard working. A lot of us have come from schools that set us back a little bit, so when we came to fifth grade, we were kind of struggling. I didn't know who to look up to as an example of somebody who finished high school and finished college. I didn't have that in my life. As a fifth grader, you don't think about college. You really just think about, when's lunch? Seeing the penance and Hearing them talking about us getting to and through college, I think it just made it very real and possible. When they came in on the very first day, we had all 100 kids that started with us that year stand up and we said, look around, you are in the presence of future college graduates. That's all we talked about. We didn't really talk about graduating high school. It was always college, 2023, it was never 2019. Hearing all the teachers just wanting me to go to college, but the fact that they had this confidence for me showed that I had a future. The whole school was built on this core value that we not only get there, but we graduate. You had to be on the bus by 6.45 so you can be, you know, at school on time. 
I met my best friend on the bus on the first day of school. She fell asleep on my shoulder. I always tell myself every morning that if I don't go get it, someone else will. When I started coming to Kaufman, I felt like I was a pretty smart girl, but once like classes started, I was like, this is pretty tough. I realized this isn't a game. Kaufman is preparing us for college and beyond. Every day they give us like a whole bunch of homework, even as a fifth grader, to prepare us for like high school and college. The structure was totally different. So it took me a minute to like catch on. Like they helped us with our reading levels. Like we took a step tests. Our math classes were like better. I had to do my homework, read, because we had reading logs, so we had to read 30 minutes. There was no skating by. You had to do the work and you had to apply yourself or you weren't going to get good grades. Yeah, check Ryan, please. Ryan, what's going on here? It's not magnetic. All the long nights, all the early mornings, all the AP tests. It taught me that someone actually cared. It made me feel important and it pushed me to do better. That's like a lesson for me still, is to push hard and like never give up. Toss, okay? Coming at you. Oh I think what helped me be open and learning was the teachers helping me realize my potential. Having a large workload at such a early stage really taught me I could actually be like a really successful academic student. It was amazing really <laughs> just to see that I can do better. I can like I can achieve this. I know I could. I like truly truly appreciate how they've stuck it out and how they have like continue to to fight. It just shows how dedicated we are. Our parents, our families, us, we all stay. We have to do this, we have to do this. We're all fighting for our future. Kaufman sets the path. It's up to the student to like, decide whether they, they want to follow this path, like, like to receive a helping hand. You can go on like college trips. You experience more than what a regular public high school could just offer you. You see more of the world. It helps you grow as a person. Everybody was rooting for me. They were willing to take a chance for me. And so I had to take a chance for myself. We're gonna do an I do. After we worked on our narratives or our essays, we would have a publishing party. So we would put all the desks in a big circle and we would read each other's work. Our writing teacher, Ms. Doge, she had this really emotional moment when she saw all our improvements. She showed me one of my papers before and after. And she had like was tearing up crying about all the progress that we made. It made me think of, like if I can make people proud, appreciate my work, I can like make them feel certain ways and feelings. It made me like to express myself some more. If everybody in the class wants to succeed, who can deter us from that? I think that's why our reputation is so outstanding now. Kaufman just motivated us to do better and made us believe that we are gonna go to college and graduate. We're all different, but we have the same ideals and the same motivation to go to college and go through college. I learned that I can do anything that I put my mind to. The prep values that we pride ourselves on, that really like describes our stories, perseverance, results, empathy, and passion. At this point, like, I don't think about trying to use these values at all. It just happens naturally. When you have grit, nothing can stop you. No barrier, no stereotype, not when anybody can say about you stops you in. You keep pushing through, and I feel like nothing can stop us. We are one big family. We always stick up for each other. If you see like a person who needs help, help them out. I think the school was intentionally designed to train students to be the best. It all goes back to the teachers they select and the curriculum that we have. It's the extra hours that we've put in. Some teachers brighten on my day, even though if I'm having a bad day, they'll come here, talk to me, make me laugh, make me enjoy actually coming to school sometimes. Whether it's academic or you just having struggles at home, it, there's always going to be somebody there to help you. There were probably lots of moments like that where I knew that it wasn't about me telling a kid whether they were right or wrong. I think sometimes it was letting them know, like, man, I've been there. I remember talking to Ms. Turner. I got, like, really emotional with her. Like, I actually told her stuff that was going on in my family. And she told me, well, you can do it. Just keep your head up and whatever's going on, just know I went through it too. I graduated high school, college, and I know you can do it too. What I would tell them all the time is who you are today is not who you'll always be. 
that was like the first time like a teacher had a conversation with me like that. You want them to understand and you want them to know that like you're not alone. It'll get better. Sometimes I feel lost, but my teammates and my teacher were there to help me. They cared about who I was outside of school, the person I was going to be, what I was dealing with. I feel like we've lived life together. They've grown up, I've grown up. We've learned some things about each other, about life, about society, about this crazy, cruel world. But now their chance is coming. Well, I'm excited to graduate, but it's, it's gonna be bittersweet. I'm gonna cry, but I'm gonna be so happy. And we basically grew up together, and it's hitting me like, we're not gonna be together every day. It's gonna feel weird not coming to school every day with the people you've been around for like eight years. The moment that really hit me hard was Washington DC last year. I looked at the group like having fun. Then I was like, wow, next year is our last year that we get to bond as a family. Our end of year trip last year, we have so oh. many videos and pictures. I know they was tired of me telling them to take pictures of me, but I just wanted <laughs> all the memories possible. The thing I love most about our students is just how much they love each other. They say that your college friends are like some of the best friends you've ever made in your life, but I wholeheartedly think that my high school friends are some of the best friends I've ever made in my life. <laughs> We're basically like brothers and sisters. You know, we can tell when somebody's you know, upset or somebody's excited about something. It's like an emotional connection. We can automatically pick up on it right away. They're always saying, stick together, we're a team. We sink or, we sink or something together. Sink or swim? Yeah, sink or swim together. There's no magic that makes them the great people they are. We simply put them in a situation where those things are valued by the adults around them. Our families are the most incredible people that I have ever met and their vision for their children. It's just inspiring. The way that they walk alongside their children every day as they come into Kaufman is the thing that keeps me going. And I know the thing that keeps their child going. We're all in this together. We all made it. Like Drake said, we started from the bottom, now we're here. We're all one team and we're all gonna graduate. And we were all trying to like get ourselves a better future. We were the ones that helped out going wood. The ones who will be supposed to graduate and go to make and show people that they can do it. I like to think of us as a puzzle, you know, very different pieces, but when we all come together, it shows a definite picture of us as a community, us as a school. Something I'm taking with me uh, is just happiness, you know, encouragement, you know, love and support that I got here. Welcome back, Tatina. I'm very inspired by them. Honor to even be a part of this process with them, it gives me so much hope. Don't shout anything out. You'll have 30 seconds to make a decision. We're making history here. I just think we're awesome. This school really helped me like trust others. But I think they really do try their hardest to make sure that every kid has an equal opportunity. With us being urban kids, I feel like there was definitely a lot of doubt from people outside of here. Doubt is one of the biggest things that pushes me, not only when I doubt myself, but when other people doubt me, because it's like, oh no, I'm gonna rise to the occasion. I feel like I accomplished something. I learned that I'm like, more than what I thought I was. It took me a step closer to my dream. It took me a step closer to being a better me. Our kids are truth tellers. If you think they cannot do something, they will promptly let you know in a respectful way that they can and that they deserve the opportunity. I'm from the inner city. I'm a girl, I'm black. So it feels really good that my name is here and it's the first first class. One of the first people from Kaufman to graduate. Be the first to graduate from Kaufman. The first. 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 The first to do something meaningful and something that people can repeat and look at as inspiration. You think you can tackle anything. You can take the world by storm and just be you while you're doing it. I want them to 
take things that are light enough to carry and heavy enough to remember. I think that there's a lot about this place that has been incredible and I want them to take that and remember how to use it, remember how to use the tools, remember how to use their voice. Um, and I want them to let go of the heavy baggage that may have come from a number of places, the school, family, life, and feel free to let go of that as they start this next chapter. Um, and that's what I'd wish for them. Having that ability to know that you are worth something and you're able to go and do whatever you want to do. All of our stories are different. And it's all worth sharing. It's all worth being noticed. We can keep breaking barriers. We can move mountains and shake the ground. What we say matters. We matter. Stand up. Look around. You are in the presence of future college graduates.